Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of WWE Supercards. This is episode 155. I am your host, Fireproof, and we are going to get right into the action. Uh, I just started a, another King of the Ring. From what I've seen so far, that we have... Seven people total in this King of the Ring, including myself. Um, because I got quarter bumped after doing so well in the first half. Then I got quarter bumped. Never a good thing. And as you can see, we right right now we are twenty or one twenty out of one ninety five into Cesaro. And we have done plus tens all the time. <clears throat> as soon as we for lose our very first match, I'm not saying uh, like uh, like oh I'm gonna win win the majority of them, but if I once I lose my first match. I'm going to put in the second Cesaro, or the two Cesaros and my, a little bit of my weaker ones to tra train the rest of the way up. Like, I'll put my Bailey in, I'll put both Cesaros in. Just for the fact that they need training. And that, uh, well, I, I do need, uh, a couple better, uh, pros, but the ones I got right now are going to help me a little bit. I may can plus 10 it all the way through to, uh, to the Brie Bella, but, uh, I don't know. And rumors have it that there might not be a WrestleMania tier that it might reset. I'll tell you right now, if the, if, if the game resets itself, which I hope it don't, you might not see me anymore playing Supercards. Because that is kind of pointless. Ha uh, mid through the year and resetting it instead of having a Wrestlemania tier. I understand that for like season three, but it's too early for a season three. It's way too early for a season three. And from what I, I, I have seen, uh, the stuff for the, uh, for the, uh, super tokens, I'm not impressed. Just for the fact that it, 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 it only labels under, like, uh, super rare and ultra rare. But it's not worth it's it's not worth it for the people that are in the high levels, like in the survivor tier, legendary tier. It's for it's worth it for people that are that are starting out the game, or still in ultra rare tier, super rare tier, somewhere in the, the small ends of the game. But it, it, it truly is not worth it for people that are in Survivor. Now, granted that if you got had them in Legendary tier, Survivor tier, all the way up to when they make the WrestleMania tier, then I can understand them being being amazing. But, you know... 
It ain't. It it really ain't. It it really isn't. But what can you do? Hey, another big show. Paul him. Hey, there's a title match. And an energy. And an energy. I want to say we're almost. Oh, oh well, we're we're just over. We're well over halfway. Cause I I try to round it up to about two hundred instead of one fit uh, one ninety five. So yeah, we we are well over the uh, halfway mark of this, of the Cesaro, and it's all been on plus tens. I know some. I've I've heard some people already have the uh, the super tokens and got the cards. They said for, for about seventy some bucks, was it seventy five or almost eighty bucks? You could get the whole pack, or if you get them uh, individually, it's what six bucks a piece, seven bucks, something, something like that. Which ain't bad for the 75 to get pretty much all of them. But it is not worth it for like, like I said, like us. Unless you just want to save them. I wouldn't mind seeing what the Sting one looks like. I'm kind of interested in if they have a Sting WrestleMania one. Will it be another Surfer Sting? Will it be Wolfpack Sting? Because I think some of the stuff in there is like... Oh, we got a first loss. Or at least one loss. But that's okay. Not a total loss. <laughs> and by total loss, I mean them actually winning the match, not me. <clears throat> there's the there, there's the small head of Daniel Bryan again. But we seem to be doing good right now. We're running into legendary pros and single, the single survivors, which ain't bad. Unless unless you got unless you were in the uh, the winner of the uh, uh, team ring domination, and most of the people got a got two uh, Shawn Michaels out of that. I know I did. But in that, I already also had the one Shawn Michaels proed up all the way too. I just proed him. A message has been received. Oh, I wonder what that was. <laughs> it was a text message or just a notification. It happened to be a, a notification. But we will win. We won. 11 to 1. And the one we won, lost was the Divas match. A message has been received. But you know what it is? It's what it is. It's just. Oh, we got a Sin Cara. Two more. One more. Oh, I see, uh, Johnny, I was in, uh, John H's stream, uh, yesterday, and he finally got, uh, apparently the, uh, earthquake glitch is in season two as well. Because I know I've gotten the earthquake glitches 
card glitches in uh, Season 1. All it is is a blank picture, or blank card that says Earthquake. It really doesn't do nothing other than it tells you your uh, counter reset. But that's it. It don't really do nothing. But I can pro I can pretty much breeze all the way through here. What I want to try to do is do some different videos, but I have not gotten around to it because I'm lazy. Ever since Dad died, I just don't feel like doing anything. But I know that's not what he wants would want me to do. Just like feel blah, like part of me is missing. But what can you do? Uh, oh, I did win now. Nice. Apparently somebody got the pro, and I'm I'm still trying to figure out how some of these guys can get their stuff all the way up that far. And I don't know if it's because of the the enhanced the enhancements they put in the character, or if it's like the uh, support cards they put in the character. I don't know. And uh, you'll probably see me put in uh, the the cards I need to train in the Bree Bella because I don't care if I get the Bree Bella card or not. I'm there to train the cards. I don't even. Normally, I, I'd say I'd want the pitcher. I'd get him for the pitcher. But hell, I don't even want to. I don't even want this pitcher. It, it, it's it's nasty. But I. I one thing I'll, I'll say right now is I wouldn't mind seeing what it would look like. As a as a uh, loyalty fusion card for season three, and we hit the card limit. We hit the card limit. We hit the card limit. Let's see. Like I said, I might, I might stop. I might stop at uh, at Cesaro, but then again, I also gotta train up. Excuse me, train up the car, so I might as well just continue on. Even though that I hate PCC, and again, excuse me, it's not a pro for me because they seem to like to. Rob me of it. But I don't know why. If I wasn't away this weekend, I probably could have done something with the Brie Bella. So by the time we come back out here, we'll probably have one or two matches. 
or sorry, th two or three. Good to be only have two. So I'll finish out <coughs> out the two, depending on if we have another one. So after this one, it should be ring domination. What would everybody's guess be for ring domination? Could it be AJ Styles? Could it be another diva? And uh, John H. brought up an interesting topic. Uh, John Cena has not had an event card. So it might be John Cena. I don't see I I don't see John Cena. I don't see a diva. I would I wouldn't mind a diva. But you know <clears throat> It is what it is. Go to Divas. Oh, we should have used that as a tag team. I was not thinking. Oh, it worked either way. Oh, we lost it with Sheamus. Or two. We lost that one with she to Sheamus. Apparently, they snuck in a. Uh, Survivor Pro. Oh, Daniel Bryan's a Survivor Pro. But we should get it because we're compatible and they are not. Or and if they were compatible, well, if they were compatible, they were weaker. Uh, tag team. Toughness, speed. Uh, right there. Could you just imagine the the next picture that it could be like a the John the John Cena next picture if the John Cena has one, or. Maybe the AJ Styles, the AJ Styles picture. See what if it happens to be AJ Styles as the very last one for the WrestleMania until the WrestleMania tier would be awesome because that's what we're we're all hoping for and we're looking for and everything like that. But Cat Daddy will do what they want to do. I say two. Seventy eighty. We'll finish out these last two matches and this will be the episode for today because if we happen to acquire another one during this, I will play it just for the fact that uh I will finish Cesaro on the live stream. But I hate the right arrow thing. We have right arrows for days. And I don't like the fact that the sun is <coughs> glaring through the whole thing. And no matter which way I turn the, uh, turn the desk, it's still going to hit me in the eye. But I never think about doing the videos at night time. <laughs> um, da, da, da. The 
It might be there. Yeah, it was theirs. I think I should just use my dad and your Brian on that, but you know. Yeah, I didn't like. The, I, I still don't like the fact that they gave uh, Brie Bell and a. Uh, they handed Brie Bell at that event. When it should be when it should have been Charlotte. Just for the fact that Charlotte is more popular than Brie Bella, which everybody goes, oh, oh no, Brie, uh, Brie Bella is more popular and better than uh than Charlotte. Uh, no, she is not. Brie Bella, the only reason why she had a name, is because of her sister, and her husband. She's been in the industry for almost what, almost a decade, like uh, John Cena, her and her sister both. Why did one get better, the other one get crappy, and the crappy one is married to the best submission style technical wrestler on the show, Daniel Bryan. She says they say that she oh she's doing the uh, the yes kicks and the uh, the yes lock in honor of her husband. She's butchering those moves because she don't know how to wrestle. And now that her meal ticket, her sister and uh, husband are, have retired, she has nothing left. She has nothing left. Just for for that fact. She leached, she mooched, she lunged off of the career of her husband and her sister. And that is my opinion. Can we hold off to eight? Can we hold off for eight more minutes while we finish this one, so we can start finish the last one and get Cesaro or Cesaro, 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 Cesaro. <laughs> I noticed I watched Biggie Dude's uh, video earlier. I noticed that he proed three of them today. An Undertaker, an Ultimate Warrior. What was the other one? Ultimate Warrior. It wasn't Shawn Michaels. Uh, I can't remember what, uh, what the third one was. I know it was The Undertaker. It was Shawn Michaels. Or not. It was, the Undertaker, it was The Undertaker. The Ultimate Warrior. And I can't remember what the other one was. Was it Shawn Michaels? No, no, no. It wasn't Shawn Michaels because he just put them in the uh, King of the Ring. With Daniel Bryant. No, he already had that. Wow. It was this morning. I can't remember. That's bad. <laughs> that is horrible. And it was I know it wasn't a diva. Oh, it's Kevin Owens. It was Kevin Owens. I knew I I knew I would get it eventually. But yes, Undertaker, Kevin Owens, and the Ultimate Warrior is the three cards that he proed. And now he's working on this, his second Shawn Michaels.
And this is our last, our least last game for this one. Hopefully, we have one more bout when we when we exit here. If we don't hit a card limit. One eighty. He wasn't ready. Wait, wait, wait. I will have to, I would have to play two matches. But that is the, that is my episode today. Thank you for watching. And I will see you guys next time. On another episode of WWE Supercard. Bye bye. What did I do?